Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. We are taking a look at the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Limited in that sapphire blue. So that is a new color on the redesigned new body style Crosstrek. Now, the new owner has opted to get winter tires and wheels installed. So we did install Subaru brand black steels, which I think look pretty darn good for a black steel, fairly plain looking. And of course, Yokohama Ice Guard tires, fantastic tires. So limited is the full load cross track. Every available factory option comes in the limited. Front end is new on the 24s, that redesign. A little bit more aggressive, a little bit more angular overall. You get that hexagonal honeycomb grill. We've got gray wings coming off the logo and those lead into our smaller, more aggressively styled LED steering responsive headlights. They all have high beam assist when the headlights are set to auto. They do the high beams, low beams by themselves. Very, very bright. LED fog lights with that gray painted bezel. Onyx has yellow. The Limited has gray. That's kind of the highlight color on the Limited. And you get that gray C-cut channel on the new Crosstrek, kind of like you see on the Ascents and Legacies, that new style. But gray is the highlighter accent color on the exterior, regardless of the other exterior color. I really like this sapphire blue. It's got a little bit of purple in it. I think it looks fantastic. This is powered by the 2.5 liter four cylinder boxer engine. So you get 182 horsepower, which in a vehicle of this size is a good amount of power. 8.7 inches of minimum ground clearance, which is more ground clearance than most half ton pickups. And that's a very sporty side profile. Those body lines really pop. Up top, we have roof rails. All the cross trucks come with roof rails. The limiteds are gray painted. As you can see, we've got a little bit of rain and then it froze. We've got those water droplets. Tilt and slide sunroof. Fuel door is rear passenger side. And if the driver door is unlocked, that's unlocked. It just pops open. When you lock it, pin shoots out, locks in the hole. You run regular 87 unleaded. You do not have to run premium, anything like that in these cross tracks. New style tail light and... As you've watched my other, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know this is my favorite view of the Crosstrek. I really like this rear three-quarter view. I think it's fantastic. Very sharp looking. New taillights. I really like with the darker exterior colors. They really pop in my opinion. New rear end, rear bumper. We've got functional vents. We've got our reflectors. And then we have the little blue circles in the rear bumper. And those are your backup sensors. They'll apply the brakes if you're going to hit something at between speeds of 1 and 15 kilometers an hour. You've got that faux rear diffuser, kind of like a WRX. I kind of think the rear bumper looks like a WRX bumper. Now, room in the Crosstrek. People are always shocked how much room you have in here. Now, I can't show you the entire storage space, but we've got the four stock all-season tires on the factory 18-inch wheels inside here. All right. And there's still room. I could probably fit another... Another three, maybe even four more tires in, depending how I stacked it. Privacy cover is standard equipment. That comes with it. You just pop it out. It's telescopic. It goes in those two little squares. Halogen cargo light. That'll shut off when I close the hatch. We've got grocery bag hooks on either side. You can also tie those lower hooks with together with the upper hooks with a cargo tray accessory. Cargo net, sorry, not cargo tray. We've got those little indents. Those are cup, hold cup holders or bottle holders for tailgating. And we have this nice little mountain motif with the Easter egg cross track in it. A lot more room in these than people expect. Now we do have the button there. You can set a pin. So if you don't have your key, you can still access the vehicle. Even with the, if you don't have your phone, you can't use the My Super app. That is very handy. Backup camera, easy to use, easy to clean. It's got its own little drain over top of it. I'll show you that inside. And it's just beeping at me. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's beeping at me because I have the key and it's running and I just closed the door. Second row, like you've got good headroom in here. I know it's really hard to show because everything's relative, but you've got good leg room, good headroom. You've got a built-in step and that is designed to be stepped on if you're loading something on the roof or onto the crossbars of the cross track. They say stand on that and not the tire because the tire sits inside the fender and you won't get as much of your foot on the tire as you would right there. Rear door card, light and dark gray. Soft touch armrest with the orange contrast stitching. The orange contrast is the limited contrast on the inside of the vehicle. Power window, a little bit of storage with a bottle holder. And we have this little silver bar and that latches 
in that little black plastic piece. That's an extra side impact crash safety bar that Subaru has installed and it latches in there. It's just designed to stop intrusion into the passenger cab in the event of a side collision, which I hope never happens to anyone, but they build them for the what ifs. Gray painted mirror caps along with integrated turn signals. It is a proximity key. It's running right now, so I can't lock it, but we've got those lines in the door handle and it's beeping. I don't know if you could can hear it. It's beeping because it's running and I tried to lock it. Just stop beeping. But to unlock it, you just walk up. So long as the key's within 46 inches, put your hand in the handle, senses it and unlocks. Up front, driver door card. Looks very similar to that of the rear door card. We just have soft touch everywhere. Same leather as there. We've got window lock. Front two windows are auto, rear two are not auto, but they are power. We've got our power mirror adjustment. We've got a little bit more storage along with the bottle holder, and we do get the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system in this. So it simulates 10 speakers. These are both subwoofers. The doors are subwoofers, which is pretty darn cool. Driver's seat in the Limited is light and dark gray leather. Same as the rear seats. I just didn't have a chance to show those to you. The orange highlights are in the perforations, which I think is super cool. We also have the orange contrast stitching. Now these seats are designed to reduce fatigue over longer driving distances, be very, very comfortable, stop you from feeling fatigued at the end of the day of driving, which is pretty cool. Power driver seat, of course, including lumbar. We've got that faux carbon fiber trim and it continues on the dash over here. We used to have a whole bunch of buttons down here on the 23s. Now it's just the scroll wheel for the brightness of the gauges and you can dim things, brighten them up. It's nice. On the inside, steering wheel is the new style steering wheel that you see in all of the updated Subaru. So we have Bluetooth and audio controls on the left-hand side. We've got volume left to right now. It used to be this toggle. That's not the case anymore. They've eliminated the three buttons down here that changed our small display there. That's now that. We can accept calls, hang up or decline or mute, issue voice commands or access Siri or Google Assistant. We can switch between presets, go from AM to FM to Bluetooth to USB, etc. All at your fingertips. Now, that small little display up there, if I cycle through with that toggle, it gives us different information depending what we want to look at. Radio, clock, thermometer, fuel economy. Obviously, us sitting here is not getting good economy for trip A, trip B. How long it's been running for? It's been running for 12 minutes. Headlights, you can leave it auto. Fog light control right there. If it's in auto and you have your high beams on, it'll automatically dim the high beams if you catch up to someone or if someone's coming towards you, or if it's a new sign and your headlights are bright enough to reflect off it. It's got a light sensor. And part of that light sensor, we've got these three black boxes. We've got this new third wide angle mono camera, and then we have the two black boxes. Those are your eyesight cameras. That does all your safety tech, including our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. So turn that off. I've got the adaptive cruise right there. And you can see that there's three bars ahead of the cross track there. Now there's four. That is the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up while using cruise. So four bars at hundred kilometers an hour is roughly 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you. Generally more than enough for some circumstances. You can follow closer though. Every time I press down, and of course, if you catch up to someone, you'll slow down and follow them at a set distance. It is nice. They slow down. You'll, gotta, you'll slow down. You'll get a little closer. It's fantastic. Lane centering. We get that little steering wheel right there. And if the road lines can be seen by the cameras, it'll illuminate those gray lines solid white. And it then, will then give you gentle steering input to help keep you in the middle of your lane. Even through corners, it's not hands-free. It's absolutely fantastic. I do plan on doing a video showing you guys how that works. Stay tuned for that later, or I guess early next month, so long as we don't get a whole bunch of snow. But right now we can see the road lines. Intelligent and sport drive modes. Intelligence for every day, it's what it defaults to. Sport, you can see that yellow line's a little bit more aggressive. You go faster sooner, you use a little bit more fuel, more spirited driving. Then heated steering wheel. Now, it doesn't heat between the seams at the top here just where you're supposed to keep your hands right there. Little dead spot right here, but pretty much anywhere you're gonna keep your hands is heated and it gets absolutely cooking, it's fantastic. We do have paddles, upshift and downshift. So if we wanna manually slug gears with our automatic CVT, we can do that. On our side mirrors, we have 
that little black nub, and that is your blind spot detection. So it's going to illuminate like so on the corresponding side when someone's in your blind spot or is going to be in your blind spot momentarily. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not a substitute for shoulder checking, but visibility wise in the cross track, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm a taller guy. Obviously, everyone's idea of what is a comfortable amount of visibility is going to vary. It's all your mileage is going to vary. Personal preference. Steering wheel also has adjustment down here, bottom left of the steering column. Pull down. Got tilt. And you've got telescopic, so you can adjust it to drivers of varying heart, heights, arm, and leg lengths, depending on how you like to sit. Wiper stock right here on this side. Do the rear window. You just twist the end. One up does miss setting, one down does intermittent, and you've got this collar right here to control the intermittent speed. Then we have constant slow, and then constant fast all the way down. Good range of those. We have an 11.6 inch touchscreen infotainment system. You can see that little red light that was right there. That is the driver focus system. So it was trying to scan me in. It will tell you if you're distracted or drowsy. Flashes you a little warning up here, so keep eyes on road, or it flashes a cup of coffee if you're if it senses excessive blinking or head nodding. Says, hey, you might want to take a break. No memory settings for seating in the Crosstrek, so it doesn't do that. Top portion of this touchscreen, we've got weather, which is part of your three-month satellite radio trial. We've got dual function X mode, which is like 4x4 low in a pickup. Locks the all-wheel drive power 50% front, 50% rear, and changes your throttle response, your transmission gearing. It only works up to 40k an hour after that. It kicks out and goes back to regular all-wheel drive, which is still absolutely fantastic. We've got widgets, and we can change these around. And if anyone's watched any of my other videos, I always put the same ones because they seem to be the ones that most of my clients like. This one... You can put the speed limit, and the speed limit's only going to show when you're actually on the road. I'm on our lot, so it won't show, and that's just through the navigation. It's not reading the signs or anything like that. Got navigation destination, so if I set something in the nav and go to the radio screen, it'll still tell me, right, turn right 200 meters Queensway, and then we have what we're listening to. Center portion of the screen Actually, I'm just going to try to get a little bit more glare off of that. Close that sunroof. So we've got map, powered by TomTom, Tom, navigation. It's free for the life of the vehicle. There is no subscription fee required for it. You can go full screen, home button, radio, media, phone. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Under apps, we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Super easy to hook up. You will gain access to the MySubaru app after the vehicle is registered in your name. You set those up settings, car info, you can set maintenance reminders, see where your power is, see which way your wheels are turned. See they're turning there as I turn the wheel. We do have a second screen. We've got, you can turn off the display, you can set valet mode, you can turn off driving assistance like your traction control. And when I put it in reverse, backup camera pops up. It does show you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to there. Rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on, those are tied together, and if I turn the wheel, those orange lines move, show you where you're going to keep end up if you keep the wheels turned that way. Great for parking lots. And I was saying, I'll show you, clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle. It's fantastic in our sloppy winters here. It's asking if I want to be registered. I don't. We've got volume and tuning knobs. We've got our climate controls. We've got physical buttons on either side, and that's down here. So I can do it in 0.5 degree increments each time I push. Or, I simply click on the screen, it brings this up, I can click, I can drag, I can sync it just back to driver controlled, I can control where I want my airflow being directed, if I want AC on, recirc, max AC, it's all really simple, easy to use, we've got big fan strength buttons, it's focusing the entire cabin right now, I can just have it focus the front, but I want the entire thing heated or cooled. It's a little cold out, so I'm going to turn that back up a bit. Now, unlike the other touchscreens, we don't have the heated seat switches in there in the screen. Subaru's kept them physical. I'll show you that in a moment here. Below that, we have two USBs and an aux. 10-watt wireless charger. And if you don't want it charging, simply turn it off. When your headlights are on, you do get a little illumination light there. That's just part of it. You also notice that those USBs and aux illuminated. 
automatic, CVT, pull it to manual mode, that's where you use the paddles, select your own gears, park brake, foot on the brake and push down to disable it. If your foot is not on the brake and you push down, it doesn't go off and it actually pops up to press the brake pedal. And I don't know if you could hear it, but it did, you can audibly hear it turn off when you do that. Blank switch. Got heated seats high and low for both the driver and passenger with the leather. That's fantastic. We've got offset cup holders and both of them have drink razors. So if you have short drinks, they sit up a little higher. And if you've got tall drinks, you pull this out and you'll get, they, they won't tip everywhere, hopefully, unless you're cornering super aggressively. 12 volt power point. A little bit of storage here. Soft touch armrest, and it is a very, very deep storage area, and there's two places to run cords out of, but there's no power points in there. So that, that is kind of an interesting, they just kept the same kind of center console mold from the previous ones where they had the 12 volt in there. Up top, map lights, sunroof controls, SOS and concierge slash roadside assistance. Though you'll get a little green light when it's enabled, and that's enabled when we register the vehicle in your name. We've got the door light switch. So right now it's set to door. So whenever I open a door, the lights come on. Same thing with the one back there. Close it. They shut off. Just a regular size sunroof in this. Tilt and slide, manual shade. And then we do have on our visors, vanity mirror with light. They flip across, they extend. The driver gets a card holder slash sunglass storage. And you do also get four grab handles. You got one for each door. So that is a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Limited in the Sapphire Blue Pearl, the full load, powered by the 2.5 liter four-cylinder boxer engine, 8.7 inches of minimum ground clearance, and of course Subaru's legendary full-time symmetrical all-wheel drive. Absolutely fantastic vehicles. I had a 2018 previously and it was my favorite vehicle to daily drive, especially in the winters. It's like driving a little go-kart. They're fantastic. Thank you for watching my quick walkthrough of the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Limited in the Sapphire Blue Pearl. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Open Storage. If you guys have any questions about this vehicle behind me, any of the tech in it, any of the vehicles in our lineup, anything to do with Subarus in general, put it in the comments below. If there's something you'd like to see in a future video or would like me to cover more in depth, again, put it in the comments. I'm always open to your guys' suggestions. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Again, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.